guys welcome back to the channel my name's Andrea and this is Beauty with Andy so today's video is going to be my higher end lipstick edit I'm just going to be showing you um, the lipsticks that I've I have in my higher end lipstick collection I've changed it out they used to be all in like my top drawer of my dresser but I wasn't using them and I've, I've put all my higher end lipsticks together and all my drugstore lipsticks together in lipstick holders um, so yeah I've, I'll show you where they are now I've put them on display so I actually know what I've got um, so I'm going to be doing a higher, higher end lipstick collection and I'll also do a drugstore collection and um, yeah if you want to see any swatches on anything just leave me a comment down below other than that though let's get into it because I don't know how long this video is going to last and if it's like any of my other videos it might be longer than half an hour so let's just get into the collection and I'll show you what I've got right so here is where I keep all my higher end lipsticks there's a few over at, at my desk as well which won't fit in this little thing here I need to get a bigger one I think just so I can put them all in one place so I can just grab them when I want to use a higher end lipstick and then I've got some drugstore ones on here two acrylic like lipstick holders of drugstore and also I've got one on my desk as well um, what I'm trying out to see if I can declutter any so let's talk about these ones first I thought I would sit at the desk and show you better um, instead of standing up it just makes it easier so I've got nine Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks so we'll start off with them I have actually filmed a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick swatch um, video I did that quite a while ago when I got all the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks I've not added to my collection since then so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it um, on the video on this video so you can see it rather than do it again um, because as I said I've not actually added any more Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks so we'll just start off over here so this one is in the shade Stoned Roses I think this one was um, one of the last ones I got it's a really really beautiful everyday nude so so pretty um, I think it's one of the darkest nudes in my collection so that's that one then we've got very Victoria they come in the same packaging I love the new Charlotte Tilbury packaging um, I, I really would like one or two lipsticks from the new collection but they are quite expensive and I've got so many lipsticks that I just want to get through I don't really want to buy any more higher end lipsticks or any lipsticks at the moment so this is very Victoria really really pretty everyday nude I don't know why I got so many um, from the nude collection I mean one would have been enough this one is pillow talk which is the one that everyone seems to have in their collection um, that one is probably my favorite actually out of the whole nude collection I've got really really pretty um, this one is velvet underground which is like a cherry shade it's really really pretty for spring and summer um, so yeah that one's really nice I love all of these Charlotte Tilbury ones um, then we have Oh, 1975 red which I believe was limited edition oh. such a gorgeous vibrant red I absolutely love it it's like an orange toned red then I have which one is this tell Laura which again is another orange toned red I don't I didn't need both these but at the time I didn't realize it was such close in shade I think this one may be a little bit darker but they're both orange toned reds which are definitely my vibe at the minute rather than blue toned reds and um, the next one is lost cherry again same packaging so 
so so pretty these shades these shades that i'm going to be showing you now are just perfect for spring and summer i wore these a lot over spring and summer when i shot my stash um yeah and then this one is miranda may which is a similar shade just a little bit darker so so pretty and then i've got one more which is more like an autumn winter shade with a bit of a story behind it actually i bought this when this i bought this with my first ever order from charlotte tilbury i bought this and i bought the look in a palette um which i've got a video on so i will i will link that up here somewhere so you can watch it if you want to film that ages ago when i was going through my videos last night and I, I saw it this one is so so dark it's like a black cherry but it looks really really good and you can see it on my lips in the lip swatch video if you want to go and check that out right so that's all nine of the charlotte tilbury's then behind that i have this bougie ysl one and this one is in well it's from the rouge Loop shine it's in the shade five it's a really really vibrant I'd, I'd say it's like a gloss slash balm um, it really really is very conditioning for your lips um, I absolutely love the packaging I think this is one of the packagings I will keep even when either the lipstick goes bad or I use it up just because it is gorgeous packaging my other YSL is not as nice um, so that's my other YSL and this one is from the Rouge Pure Couture line and it's in the shade 6 and I don't like it as much like on camera um, with the light on it looks quite quite nice it looks like a really nice nude but it's really pale on my lips and I've got such fair skin I would have thought it would have like appeared a little bit darker um, I don't like it by itself but I have been trying it with a lip liner and it looks okay don't just want to get rid of it for the sake of getting rid of it um, so I will keep it but I wouldn't buy that shade again um, then behind that is the Rosie for Autograph and Nick what are these called? They're not called anything, they've just got a shade. This one's Silk Nude. They've got magnetic caps which are really nice. Really, really nice. Lipsticks. Now they're in the higher end um, lipstick holder just because I don't see them as being drugstore. Some people would see them as being drugstore. Now they're £15. I think they may have actually gone up now as well. They're £15 and I don't see that as drugstore. I see it as more of a higher end lipstick. Um, so that's why they're in here. And then I've got another shade. I got this shade just because I bought, I bought that shade and it was a um, the darker shade and I saw this on someone on YouTube and really really liked it so this was the shade I should have gotten originally which is Lady Rose um, but obviously because I'd used the other one I couldn't take it back so that's why I've got both of them in my collection then I've got this Too Faced one I love these lipsticks I just wish I would have got more like it would have been nice to, to have a nice red this one is in the shade Wham, perfect for autumn and winter so I, I want to get some more use out of that over autumn and winter and I don't know if you can see but it's got sparkles on it so it's kind of like metallic as well. Two Faced lipsticks are probably my favourite and I do really like the Charlotte Tilbury ones. Right so we've got another one here from rosy for autograph this one is a, a glossy one um what shade is it does it say blood roses so that looks like that 
really really pretty and glossy then we've got some urban decay ones um, I'll show you the ones from the Gwen Stefani range first so this one is in the shade 714 and they're both red So that looks like that really really pretty blue toned red. And this one is Spiderweb. Really really pretty. I think I like this one better. I haven't worn that in ages. Then at the back of that we have um, a metallic one and this one is in the shade Cruel. Really really love this. This is perfect for autumn and winter as well because it's a darker shade. So so pretty. And then there's two more Urban Decays so I'll just show you them. Um, so we've got this one, this one is called Bobby Dazzle and all this is, is you put it over the top of any lipstick, it's probably better to do it over a matte shade and it makes it more metallic. I haven't tried it over matte lipsticks, I've only tried it over glosses and it was a bit of a disaster so I think um, when I want to make a lipstick more metallic, like say I've got a red lipstick, I might try this and just see what that looks like that look nice um, then I have I think that's the last Urban Decay one yeah this one is my favourite in the whole entire Urban Decay collection I've got and it's in the shade Wonderland it is so so pretty guys um, I don't know if they do this one anymore but if they do I highly recommend it if you're into your reds so yeah, it's in the shade Wonderland. Really, really pretty. Um, so then we'll talk about this one at the back. This one is a Makeup Forever one. And it's the only Makeup Forever one I've got in my collection. Again, it's another metallic. It's um, from the Rouge Artiste Intense line. And it's in the shade 13. A lovely metallic for autumn and winter. Yeah, again. So I'll be getting use out of that. Right, so at the back we've got two Ciate ones. I finally found my red Ciate one. Don't know which is which. So this one is the nude shade. So it's by Ciate and Olivia Palermo. I got these from TK Maxx. So there's no way I would have paid um, what, they're ask what they were asking for it on the website. So that's what that looks like. A really, really pretty shade. And then the red one, so, sorry that was in the shade Truffle, the red one is in the shade Velveteen, which again is a really nice red. Um, then we've got a couple of NARS ones here. So the first NARS one is in the shade Dolce Vita. Absolutely adore this shade. It's getting really, really tricky to put up. So that's what that one looks like. Then I've got, um, I think it's Damage, so that's what that one looks like and I, although I really really like them I actually prefer more of a matte finish these days, um, I did get these a while back when I didn't really know what I preferred. Um, we've got a Chanel one in the shade Adrian, really really pretty this definitely needs to get more use before it goes bad such a nice everyday nude and then we've got a red one at the back of that 
which is also Chanel. And look at that little bullet, it looks like a, a deluxe one, um, but it cost a fortune. I mean, there's not that much product in it, but it really is a beautiful red. Right, so then we've got all my MAC ones, so we'll start off here. So this one is in Cream in Your Coffee. I've been wearing these in my recent shop, my stashes. Again, lovely shade. I just wish it was more matte, or I wish it was a matte version of it. Um, then I have Velvet Teddy. I love this formula. I actually really like the lipstick. Now, I remember for a long period of time, I didn't like the lipstick. So, yeah, I've really gotten into wearing that, and I've worn it a lot in recent shop, my stashes. Um, then I've got Hug Me, which looks like that. And then I've got Sandy Bay. I might actually be decluttering this one from the collection, although I really, really like it. It just doesn't stay on the lips for a long time. You have to keep applying it. Uh, but I do really, really like it and it is such a unique shade to my collection. And then I've got a liquid one as well. I have actually got um, a gloss in the shade Spice somewhere. Um, I'm hoping I'll fa be able to find that. Um, so this is... Oh, that's Jeffree Star. This is... Um, this is the MAC O oh Sweetie that I absolutely adore. I wore this quite a lot in spring and summer as well. It's in the shade Creamy Peach Pie. And then the last three lipsticks in this collection is um, just my Christine Dior ones. I absolutely adore this one. Um, this one is from the Rouge Dior collection. 644 in Rouge Blossom. Such a pretty shade and I wore this a lot as well through summer. Then I have this Dior one. Um, this one is Dior Addict um, 881 in Passion Night. It's a really, really beautiful shade for autumn and winter. So, so nice. And this has got little bits of glitter on it as well. Oops. It's really hard to roll it down when I'm using the camera with the other hand. And then I've got a gloss which is so, so pretty for... Is it? It's not focusing, is it? Um, for like Christmas and New Year I don't know if you can see but there's like fine particles of glitter which looks really really nice um, this is in the shade eight five six flash um, it's so so nice and you can wear it over a lipstick or just by itself it's that pigmented right so we'll move them over there um, I've got a Christine Dior one that I'm actually going to declutter. I just don't wear it and I don't know what I was thinking when I bought it. It's in the shade 513 Amber Lumiere. It's just a disgusting colour. I will never wear that. Um, so yeah, that's being decluttered because I don't know anyone who will wear it. So yeah, that's just going to go in the bin, I think. Which I have added on a few times and I just don't like it. Then I've got a couple of Jeffree Star ones. Why is this not focusing? Yeah, I've got a couple of Jeffree Star ones. This one is in the shade Yummy. I wore this a lot in spring and summer. It's got fine particles of glitter in it. Really, really pretty on the lips. And this one is just more flat out orange. It's not orange red, it's just orange. And then I've the only other Jeffree Star one I've got is this one in Anna Nicole. Um, it's one of my favourite reds to wear. I absolutely love it. So, yeah, that's that. Right, so now in here, 
all these other lipsticks like the higher end lipsticks as well and just these are what I'm using for my um, shop my stash video so just ignore that part of it um, so here well the top two rows we've got my Too Faced Melted Matte so we'll just put that out of frame a second this one is the worst Too Faced Melted Matte I really don't like it I think it's just because it's pale I'll try it with darker lip liners and see what I think then and maybe like a lip gloss over the top of it it's not ideal to wear because I just love the Too Faced Melted Matte formula um, but I don't want to declutter it I don't want to just get rid of it because they are expensive lipsticks but if I'm not going to wear it and it doesn't bring me joy anymore then I don't really see the point in holding on to it and also another lipstick could go in in its place in the holder there um, just because I don't have any room for my liquid lipsticks that are higher end so yeah there's this one this one is in the shade child star I don't know if that's going to pick up um, but yeah this one is the lighter shade I would also almost say it's like concealer lips kind of shade but not quite but I mean it's we're on the verge of that then this one is my second favorite that I absolutely love and this one is in the shade Sell Out. Don't know if you can make that out. It's really, really beautiful. And the reason why I like these lipsticks so much is they stay on your lips for so long. And that's through like drinking water and eating. Obviously, if you're eating really greasy foods, they're not going to stay on. But you wouldn't expect that from a liquid lipstick or any any other lipstick. Um, but yeah, really, really love these lipsticks. The one at the back what shades that cool girl is also a really really nice pretty shade I don't know why I got all these new shades what was I thinking um, and then this one is my favorite this one is in the shade Queen Bee um, really really pretty shade um, highly recommend it if you can still get it at the back of that is this kind of unique shade that they brought out when they brought out the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette and I wouldn't have paid full price for this, I wouldn't have paid the £19 but I saw it in TK Maxx I think for about £5.99 and it's a really unique um, liquid lipstick I've not got anything like this in my collection so I thought I would get it and I have used it once for an Instagram post and it looked quite nice actually um, I'm gonna see if I can find that post and if I can I'll add the photograph to the video somewhere probably at the end of the video um, and then I've got this Too Faced Melted Matte in the shade Ladyballs whenever I wear this I get so many compliments off it and I loved it when I first got it um, I got it because I wanted the Kylie one I think it's called Mary Jo um, and I did eventually get that um, but I couldn't get it it sold out um, so I went to Too Faced because I saw on Pinterest that this one was a dupe and I saw it and I, I really really liked it so I bought it loved it for ages and I've recently started wearing it I just don't like it I don't know whether the formula's changed on me or it's on the verge of going bad um, but yeah I'm going to probably wear it a few more times and if I still feel the same I'll just declutter it. Then I've got a couple of these Chanel Rouge Coco Stylos. These are so nice guys. Um, I can't roll it up for you unfortunately because last time I did that you know I nearly broke the thing. But this is in the shade 216 Letter. So so nice and so glossy. Really really pretty. And then I've got another one in the shade, is it Fiction? Yes, yeah, in the shade Fiction. This one's a red one. And this one reminds me of the um, Rosie for Autograph one that I was talking to you about earlier. So, I mean, if you want to try it. I don't, I don't know if the dupes, I should really... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera for a minute and I'm gonna swatch them and show you them and then we can decide if the joke
right so no i wouldn't say the dupes um that first one there is rosy for autograph which is actually more glossier and then the second one is the chanel one i would actually say the rosy for autograph is is better quality for money and um, chanel ones are just overpriced i think um, but at the time I just thought why not I don't have anything Chanel so I got them two Chanel products from Debenhams but yeah I mean I do still really like the Chanel but you know the um, the other one looks far more pigmented than the Chanel one speaking of Chanel products I've got just a clear lip gloss from Chanel the Chanel logo never wants to pick up in photographs and then I've got this Ciate what are these called? Liquid Velvet Lipstick. Um, this is in the shade Sydney. It came in my Chloe Morello Anciate Fun and Fearless palette. Um, and to be honest, I didn't really like the eyeshadow palette. I'm going to have to dig that out just to see if I do actually like it and want to keep it in the collection. Or if, I, if, if it's a definite fail I will um, pass it on to someone who can get some more use out of it um, it is disappointing though because I heard everyone rave about that palette and I just don't see what the fascination is with it I like a few of the shades from the palette which are the green shades um, but like other than that mm, no it didn't didn't float my boat <laughs> um, but yeah, I've got another Ciate Liquid Velvet and I got this when I was in TK Maxx and I thought, well I really really like the shade Sydney and I'd like um, a red to go with it and I, I tried this, I tried it a few times um, and it just smeared everywhere it looked a hot mess I'm going to try it a couple more times and if I don't like it I'll just like declutter it into the bin this is in the shade Fast Lane and then last but not least is a gloss that I've got and this one is by the um, company Smith & Cult and it is the shade Now Keith um, or Now Kith really really pretty um, gloss so yeah like I said earlier I have got a MAC like little mini a MAC little mini um, gloss in spice it's probably in my bag somewhere so I do have that as well I'm just trying to think if I've got any more higher end lipsticks I don't think I do unless they're in a bag somewhere and I've just forgotten what they are but yeah this is my higher end lipstick collection hope you've enjoyed watching it what's your favorite lipstick I would love to know leave me a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one bye